All right, boys, we're back in Jupiter, Florida because they added a Halloween update. Yes, it's finally here. You can unlock three cars, but two are coming soon. Right now, we got Zeal 1 Halloween. Now, you can buy this for 1,000 Robux or you can just unlock it by doing quests. And the quests should be here, right at the spawn. Let's talk to the Halloween man first. Greetings, brave wanderer. Welcome to Jupiter's spectacular Halloween event. Click the pumpkin button on your UI to uncover thrilling quests and area adventures awaiting you. Let the festivities begin. So I guess I just have to click on the car. Find 10 haunted pumpkins around the map. Find two ghosts haunting the campsite. They only show at night. Halloween man lost his candy in the water. Fish up 5 candy. Alright, so you get 5k per quest and also the car. And some quick other things that they added. They added a new police spotlight system. So you can now shine a spotlight on people if you're in a police car. Very cool. Night times are now longer during Halloween because certain quests require night. So that's pretty good. Halloween ambience plays at night. Halloween loading screen and new logo. Yeah, the new logo is so cool. I entered the competition too, but I did not win. Here is my logo, by the way. And then something really cool, they added a new code. And it gives you 50k, so let's try that first. We got Spookfest. There we go, 50k in the bank. Alright, I say we just do the quests now. Let's get started. Okay, this is what we're looking for. I see a pumpkin over here. Can I jump on this? Oh, there we go. Alright, we got the first one, finally. I found one at the Oceanic Cafe. Are these pumpkins to find? No. But this one might be. Yes. So there's another one just at Jupiter Autos. So surely at the mechanic shop there should be one. At first glance, I don't see any pumpkins. Oh, there it is. At the dino. Oh, wait. I saw something in the corner of my eye. I could have sworn I just saw a pumpkin. Well, well, well. Alright, we got number four. There we go. Okay, let's take a look outside. Are there any pumpkins here? Don't really see one outside. Maybe inside? Yes, there's one over here. Gotcha. Number five. Oh, I see something over there. There we go. It's on this little yacht next to the marine forklift. Number six. Let's go. Four more to go. Let's take a look at the fishing shop. Oh, yes. I already see this right away. Okay, that's pretty cool. They put it on a statue. I like that. That's number seven. This is Bacon Diner. Is there a pumpkin here? Inside the kitchen at Bacon Diner, we got another pumpkin. Number eight. We're getting close. Do we have a pumpkin here? Oh, yes. There we go. Number nine. So this one is at the postal service. Bruh. That's... Literally one inside the dealership. Are you kidding me? How did I miss this? All right, so for this next quest, you want to fish up five candy in any water source. It doesn't really matter. All you need is a fishing rod and just waste a couple minutes of your day fishing for candy. It's also worth mentioning that if you reset or leave the game, your candy is saved. So you do not need five candy in your inventory. You just need to fish five candy in total. I've already fished three of them off camera, so I only need two more. So I will just skip to the part when I have the five candy all right i just fished my last candy there we go 5k in the bank now let's go to the campsite to find two ghosts because it's still nighttime and uh, what the heck is going on with my motorcycle hey yo all right so we have arrived at the campsite it's still nighttime and i already see a ghost hiding behind the pole you're not sneaky bro so maybe there's one inside the tents i don't know oh well 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 okay that was not too difficult now i finally have the car let's test it out god damn this car is a drift machine bro the red smoke and everything oh man i love it this is a startup by the way it's so loud bro dang so we already put drift tires on this and a stage 3 engine upgrade because the stage 3 engine upgrade is free on this car Yes, it's free because it's a free car. This has to be like one of the best drift cars in the game. It's so easy to handle, bro. It's crazy. So as you can see, the engine upgrades are totally free. Okay, I want to try one more thing. We're going to add grip tires to this. And we're going to see the top speed of this. Oh, and it spits flames, if you did not notice yet. <laughs> Look at those flames. Going to put traction control off and we're going to use nitro. Let's see how fast we can get this thing to. Look at the acceleration. Oh my god. This car is a beast. I can't wait for the other two cars to come out. Bro, it just keeps going. If I had long enough road, I would probably hit 260 or something. Okay, but now it's not drivable anymore. 